Check these out. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Ingenious Indoor Wireless Access Point. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product and you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. So please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. You can see how it comes packaged to in this nice and simple retail box. Some of the key tech specs on this product is it has 1.3 gigabits per second speeds, dual radio, 48 volt PoE input so we can install this up to 328 feet away. And it has very easy setup and remote monitoring and troubleshooting. And then you can manage an unlimited amount of APs using the Ingenious Cloud app. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents for the wireless access point. First up, we have your user guide and manual right here, complete with step-by-step -step setup instructions, showing us how to register the device online and how to mount it with all the included mounting kits. Next, you can see we have our compliance documentation. We have our T-rail kit. We have our mounting screws. We have our wall bracket and we have the access point itself right here with the Ingenious logo and branding right there and all of our different indicator lights at the top so you can see those icons and all the features right there. We can look at it from every side and angle to see the ventilation on the nice plastic housing. Now we can look at it from the back side so we can see where we can lock it down. We have two spots for the two small screws in our mounting kit. You can see we have our ethernet port and our 12 volt DC power port right there. So you can see them flush and hidden right on the side of the unit. If you want to attach the mounting bracket, you're gonna use the two larger screws in this kit with the wall anchors, zap them down right there, take the two tiny screws, put them right there. So once you have this flush on the wall like this, you can then bring this up with the two tiny screws, line them up just like that with the big holes, and then you can just twist everything into place. So you can see our setup right here. We got the ingenious PoE switch plugged into an external power supply. Then we have our black ethernet cable with our internet coming in. And we have this gray ethernet cable powering the ingenious wireless access point. Cause again, we have that PoE connection. So everything's powered on and working properly. Now we're ready to complete setup using the ingenious cloud app on iOS and Android devices. So go ahead, download the app. Once you have it downloaded, you'll be at this home screen where we're ready to add our devices. So once you sign in or create a profile, you'll be at a very similar screen with the default organization and network right here. We can change those names and details later on, but for right now, you can see from the screen, we have a plus icon in the bottom right hand corner. We can go ahead, we can select that to add devices and we can just scan the QR codes. So let's start with the wireless access point. You can see the QR code on the back. We're gonna scan it. There we go. Now we can choose to register the device. So here we go, registration was successful. Now we can register another device. So let's go ahead, let's scan the QR code on the back of the switch. So we have that code too. There we go. Now we can select register and everything has successfully been set up. So now we can go ahead and select close and look at more app details. Now we're back on our home overview and you can see our organization now shows two devices in inventory. So let's go ahead, let's add those to our network now. So in the top left hand corner, go ahead, select the menu icon. Then we need to select inventory. Once you have inventory selected, you can see all the devices that we added. So we have our switch and our access point. Now we can swipe to the left to bring up an option to assign them to the network. That's what we want to choose. If for some reason you want to deregister the device, you can do that right here as well. So let's take the switch and let's assign it to our network. We can select which network we want. In this case, it's just the default network. So go ahead, select that. Then we can select move here. And now it's assigned to that network. Let's do the same thing for the access point. So there we go, swipe to the left, then select assign a network, choose the network we want, select move here. And now both of the devices have been added to our network. Now you can see on the main dashboard, we're still showing two for inventory, but now we have two managed, one network. You can see the breakdown here. So we have one AP and one switch. We can go ahead, we can tap these boxes now. So we can select the AP box. It's gonna bring up the AP that we just set up. 
Let's go ahead, let's tap on that and see all the device details we have. So we can edit the name, we can see our model number, firmware, serial, MAC address. We can even view our SSID info right here. So we got both bands up right now and it's currently an open network. Then further down, you can see our network information. Then we have really helpful tools. So you can see we got client, we have logs. So we can select logs and see today's logs. Then we can go back. We can check out our real time meters right here. So it's gonna take a second for everything to load, but then we'll be able to see CPU usage, memory usage, and then our traffic. Right now we have no traffic since we just set this device up. Then we can go back. We have a replace option as well. So if we had available devices for replacement, and then we have a reboot option if we wanna remotely reboot this. Then we can control the LED lights. We can edit our note and edit a photo. Now let's go back. So we're on the dashboard again. Now we can select the switches option. It's gonna bring up the switch that we just set up. Here it is, go ahead, select that. Now it's gonna bring up its device details. So again, we can see the model, firmware, serial number, MAC address. We can see our ports right here. We have VLAN settings and our port settings. So we can see two are currently active, eight total. Then you can see we have our total PoE usage. We're using 7% or four watts. We have our halfway point roughly of 27 watts and then our total budget of 55 watts. Then we have our network and IP information right there, system settings as well. And then we have very similar tools, real time meters again. This time it's gonna show CPU usage and memory usage. It's gonna take a second for it to load and populate for us. So there we go, we can see everything right there in real time now. And then we can go back. We can also replace this if we wanted or do a reboot and we have our edit notes and photo options as well. Now let's go ahead, let's look at more settings online. So now on your computer, go ahead, pull up cloud.ingenious.ai and sign into your Ingenious Cloud account. And you'll be able to see in real time your own organizational dashboard right here. So we have a lot of data for us presented in a really clean look and feel with a nice UI. So we can see right here all of our traffic data and we can organize that by days, weeks, or months. We can see our top access points, top clients, and top SSIDs. Same thing, day, week, or month. And our top applications and our top device operating systems. We also have a couple more options in the top right-hand corner. We could select our user manual or remote support. We can also view our notifications and we can also view our account. Then we also have this chat option in the bottom right-hand corner. In the bottom left-hand corner, we have your building icon. And then we have an option to view our members for our organization. Then in the top left-hand corner, you can see we have our organization right here with the settings menu. At this stage, we can search or we can set up a new organization if we wanted to add one. Or we could edit our current one right here. You can see the options that we have. And we can also access our network. So let's go ahead. You can see we're on the dashboard. Let's view access points. Here's the access points right here. So we have a lot of different options and settings that we can go into. We can also have a map view of this if we want. It's tied to Google Maps. And then we can even create a floor plan if we want. So we need to add a building and then we can make a really nice and clean layout. Then we can look at our switches. Here's our switches right here. So you can see all the options we have for that. Then we can look at our topology. So here we go, we can see the breakdown right now of our network, internet, our switch, and our access point with a nice key down here. We can actually export this if we wanted. Then we can view our clients as well. Currently we don't have any, but all that data will be populated right here. And then we can go to the next option right here, but we're not selected on our network yet, so we can't view that. So if we want to view that, we can go back up here and then we can select network, but be sure to double click it so you actually change and get those proper settings. Same can be said if you wanna switch back to your organization. Now we can go to the settings and we can see a lot of different options. So we have our SSID right here. Here it is, you can see some quick information. We can go ahead, we can select it. And now we have a lot more controls and options that we got on this page versus the mobile app. Here's a QR code for it, we can even print that out. 
we can change the name, enable, hide, what sort of radios we want to use, and then the security type. Then we have more options down here and advanced settings if you want to view those. Traffic shaping, captive portal, splash page, schedule, access control. So we have a ton of different options. Then we can select radio settings if we want. So here we go. We can see those options right there. We could reset or apply. Then we have our cloud radius users. Then we have our firmware upgrade. You can see the schedule we could set and the options that we have to choose from for the AP and for the switch. Next option we have is alert settings. And again, you can see the breakdown for the AP and the switch. VLAN settings, depending on your device. Switch settings. Here are some of the switch settings. Then we can go to our general settings as well. So we can select country, time zone, lots of different options there. And then a breakdown again for the AP and for the switch. So everything's really accessible, very easy to find and to change. Then we have our next option right here, our event log. We can analyze that. So here it is, and you have a breakdown for device as well. So we can see our AP and then our switch. So lots of options right there. It's color coded too. We have a search option. So you can see lots of options right there to find exactly what you're looking for. And we have a config log, air warning general. So you can see the color code key. And then our last option right here, we can select it's end sky. So if you have that set up, you can view all those settings right there. So that's just a quick overview of the settings that you have to control for both the access point and the switch. If you visit the ingenious cloud website, again, that's cloud.ingenious.ai. And then you can sign right in. So you have a lot of features and controls right from within this web page to remotely monitor and access your network. So as you can see, there's just so many features to set up and configure online for any ingenious product. The interface is really easy to navigate and everything's organized and laid out in a way that it's easy to find and to change. You have full control remotely of your devices. Everything was basically plug and play. Plug the power sources in, plug everything together, scan a QR code and you're all set and ready to go. In the future, I'd like to see even more controls from within the app as opposed to being on a web page, but everything was really easy to operate, set up, and you have so much control online that it can get a little bit overwhelming depending on how much you really want to geek out and get technical with how you want to configure your network. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. TikTok, Discord, you can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.